Well, I named it Bula because, like I say, Bula, that's my signature. You dig what I'm saying? And it's kind of like, it's like my way of life. It's like, you know, the whole shin digging thing, like I'm a shin digger. You know, my life is an ongoing extravaganza. So when I named it, when I named my, 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 my mixtape Bula, Bula is just a confirmation on me being here, on me being in the midst of the shindig. My music is shindig music. And Bula is just a confirmation of it, you know what I'm saying? So if you ride into my tape, you come, you confirming that, you know, you living. Nigga, I'm living. I'm, you know, I'm comfortable in my skin. I'm hanging out. I'm living. I'm enjoying life, you know what I'm saying? I'm an animated person, you know what I'm saying? I'm a real character, you know what I'm saying? So I, I want it to be, I want it. I wanted the, the cover to be me, a character, animated, you know what I'm saying? And I wanted it to, I wanted it to be fun, you know, because, you know, like, a lot of times you have, like, like, like I wanted it to be different because a lot of times you have a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, I be just looking at, like, the direction people be going in, not knocking the way people go, but I was like, you know what, I want to just show me. You know, I don't want it to be the regular, uh, cover. I wanted to be me. I wanted to represent me, so I just did it with the animated character that I am. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I chose Labor Day because, like, you know, I, I put in work. You know what I'm saying? I put work into this mixtape. I put work into my project. You feel me? And it was like, shit, Labor Day is the best day for it. I've been putting in all this labor, and if we had we hadn't had a day for the, the release, and I was like, you know what, dog? All this hard labor, we need to drop this bitch on Labor Day. And and that's what we did. Uh -huh. Really, it was it was about to be more than that. <laughs> Cause I had so many records and I had so many so much grounds that I wanted to cover. So I, I put 17 records on there because that was enough records, just enough records for me to cover all the grounds. You know what I'm saying? Like all the grounds that I that that I cover, like my life that represents me. You know what I'm saying? I like to hang out with the bras. I like to I like to have my records for the females. I got to have my street records. You know what I'm saying? I got to have my club vibe records. I got to have my heartfelt records, and then I just got to have my different left field records. And that's how I I, I I base my project because I'm a very versatile artist, and my music can be all over the place. So I had to put that many on there just to keep it outside of in the box. Well, I, I put the track list together and then I sent it to Bigger Rankings and Scream and Swamp Izzo and I thought that they was gonna like, cause they was like, yeah, we gonna track it out for you or whatever, whatever. So when I sent it to them I'm, and they sent it back, I called uh, Scream, I'm like, yo Scream, this the same track list that I sent you. He was like, no, that, it was like that. That's so we left it like that, so. No, they they showed me I got a good ear. Yes, it is a flow, and the flow of the tape flows to where I come I come in making a statement. You know what I'm saying? It comes off off the rip making a statement like, you know, as far as my way of life, that's the statement I make. Like this is how I'm living when I'm coming in. Like, you know what I'm saying, from one to two to three, it's me making my statement. Then when you when you get along past, I think, number four or whatever, I, you riding then. It's like you coasting now. You feel me? You in cruise control for those next three, four records. You know what I'm saying? And then you come around to the, 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 the streets. It's like, oh, you know, it's like a ride. When you first getting on the road, you know how you going on the trip. You excited when you riding. Then you get on the road. And now you just ride, and now, now you ain't excited no more as you was. You just rolling now, like you comfortable with it. Like, yeah, I'm feeling this ride. And then you get to the point on that journey when you ride, where you hit them bumps in the road, where you see the police sitting off to the side of the road, or some uh, debris in the middle of the road. That's how, that's the next part of it. You know what I'm saying? And then it comes back to that smooth ride again. You made it through that, then you back to that smooth ride again. And then after that smooth ride, you make it to finally make it to your destination. And when you make it to your destination, it's like, bam, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's, once you get to the end of the tape, it's like, yo, damn. That tape riding. Like I just I just it just I just went on a mission. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, whoa, like I like I love this tape. So that's how that's how that's the actual floor of the tape. Just how I explain it. 
like Hood Lovers, that's a that's a real dope record. That's one of my favorite records. It just represent. It, it's talking about you can catch me in the hood with the hood lovers. Pretty much everywhere I go, I visit the hood it, because I like to learn. Like to me, every hood is the same. It don't matter where it's at. Every hood is the same. It's just certain, certain hoods have a different culture. You know what I'm saying? But we all have the we all subject to the same circumstances. So that song is just about you know going to going to uh, uh, being in different hoods or being raised in different hoods or traveling through different hoods or representing for different hoods. You know what I'm saying? With the same struggle in a different culture. You dig what I'm saying? And it's just me putting on for my hood, repping my hood, putting the world up on how things go down in my hood that I know goes down in their hood the same way that they can relate to. You know what I'm saying? So that's really what that hood is about. That, that, that song is about catching me in the hood with all the hood lovers. You know what I'm saying? Then um, another one of my favorite records is like an R&B joint I did. Because on every project I do, I put me like an R&B joint on there because I slick kind of like can hold a note. And it's a record called I Want You. It's a very sexy record for the ladies, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and in that record, it's like, it was just me. When I came up with that record, it was just me visioning this perfect, this perfect woman for me that I want. And me just, 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 just creating this dope vibe and these dope lyrics for, for this chick that I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I never met her, haven't seen her, but in my mind, this is how I feel about her, and this is what I want to tell her. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, that song kind of relates to any female that I'm basically attracted to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's like one of my favorite ones. I uh, got another one that I love a lot. It's called No Breaks, and it's, it's basically saying, um, it's basically talking about if I stay inside my lane, I can make a million dollars. So I'm, I'm just saying, like, the car that I'm in, this car ain't got no brakes. Ain't no way for me to stop it. Riding in the hurry lane, feeling like a million dollars. If I stay inside my lane, I can make a million dollars. Ain't no traffic in my lane, I can ride it how I want to. Basically meaning, you know what I'm saying, as long as I'm comfortable with my skin, as long as, as, long as I'm doing me, my life going to continue to gravitate at a fast pace. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to get to that multi-million dollar ticket that I'm chasing because I'm staying in my own lane. And I'm not worried about nobody else's lane. I'm just staying in mine, focusing on what I'm doing, how I'm doing, and how I'm moving. Not worried about nobody else who's moving faster, who's moving slower, who got a bigger buzz, who don't got a buzz. All I'm focusing on is staying inside my lane. And that's what's going to make me the million dollars. Um, and the um. Uh, there's so many records. I, 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 I'm trying to see what, 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 what is my ultimate favorite. I love this record I got on the call both ways. You know what I'm saying? And it's just me basically saying this way, that way. I need me a chick that go both ways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I mean, what dude don't want no chick that go both ways? And I, I, I really feel like that's a real big record right there because it got that club vibe to it that party feel to it. It'll make a girl that don't even go both ways feel like she go both ways. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, that's, that's, that's a real, very, real dope record. And my other favorite record is the I'll Do It, featuring Red Cafe. Oh man, it's just so crazy. It's just me talking about what I'll do. Like, like you might not trick off on the female, but I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? You might not make it rain in the club, but I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might not like what I do. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm telling you haters, please don't make me do this. Like, I will come in this building and, you know, turn all the way up on you, hurt your feelings. I will embarrass you financially right now. I will do it. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, a, it's a real dope. It got a good Cali vibe to it. It got that Cali uh, uh, track to it. You know what I'm saying? It's melodic. Red Cafe put an amazing verse on there. Dope record. You know what I'm saying? And um, my main single is always my favorite. The These Hoes for Everybody record. That's my main single. Um, I got Lucci on the remix. It's doing crazy numbers in the streets. Crazy numbers on the way up everywhere. 
You know what I'm saying? It's made me a whole lot of money. And you know what? That's about it. Self explanatory. These hoes for everybody. Now, Juicy J got a song called These Hoes for Everybody, too. But, you know, Miles was out before Juicy J's on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't, I, I, I didn't even know about his song. Mines came out before his. And there was some people trying to say, like, he got the song from me or he got the idea of the concept from me. You know, I don't get caught up in that controversy. But I just like to let, always let people know my song was out before here and it's doing great so the streets love it and i love it too <laughs> i got another favorite that i want to speak on it's called uh be alone and that record right there that's like the really that's the most significant record on the whole tape the be alone record because it's just speaking on me wanting to have time to myself and me not needing no friends or nothing like that me just needing myself and you know me just going through things in this industry explaining like how, okay, you see me as, you might see me as an artist, you might see me as a celebrity, but you don't know, I go through a lot of things that regular human beings go through too. It's times that I feel like I need a time away from the limelight, time away from the club, the alcohol, the drugs, and I just want to like, it's time that I just want to be a regular person. That nobody noticed, that nobody bothers, that if I'm walking down the street, nobody would ask for a picture or a CD or nothing. It's times that I just want to be a regular person and vibe and, 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 and go unnoticed. And that's what that record is about, you know what I'm saying? Because I, 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 no matter what height you reach, it's always gonna be a time where you gonna just say, damn, you know, I wish that I could just be unnoticed for one, for just one second to take a breather, you know what I'm saying? I ain't write nothing off the tape. That's one thing I didn't write, I didn't write I didn't write nothing. Now song on that tape was written down. I created it all off the dome, you know, um, and pretty much everything on that tape is really like my way of life. That's me. Everything that you get in every one of those songs is really me.